welcome back another medicinal mass stream um, here we go we're gonna listen in to a conversation between Apocryphon and PhD Tony specific how do yeah. you explain the tidal influence on the solid earth yeah, right so 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 not the, my, not the water not my, the water nothing to do with water this is the tidal motion of land okay how do you explain that Wait, 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 how do we explain tides without using water? I'm really confused no, no, no. now. What no, do you mean by that? Uh, okay. So tidal, um, tidal motion is a, gravitational, um, uh, is a gravitational effect. Gravity is not limited to liquids, right? There are tidal influences in the atmosphere. There are tidal influences in the solid Earth. We can detect the solid, solid Earth tides using GPS satellites. Well, I think we're getting more into electromagnetics and electrostatics, to be honest. I think well, that's more except, of a whole other... That goes except, into like a Toyota uh, field and... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, it doesn't. Look, you, you cannot invoke that. Earth's, Earth's magnetic field varies on time scales and magnitudes that are completely um, at odds with the... Um, uh, with, How with so? Time. You can't... Well... Um, look at the degree of um, magnetic variation there is between day to day. You know, Correct. We've got, yeah, yeah. We've, got these, we've got these incredibly specific gravity maps. They right. don't change day to day. And in fact, if you've got the right, if you've got the, if you've got the right, well, it's not, of course. It's no, not, it, is. Course. it is. If you're, it saying, is. That, if you're but, saying that it's electromagnetic, then the magnitude of gravity must vary with the electromagnetic field of Earth. But no, it doesn't. No, no. So, the, re the reason why it changes, though, Tony, is because you have two really, really awesome, you know, a greater light and a lesser light that goes through on its circuit in the okay. firm, in, in in the sky, in the heavens, right? And they go round and round, and they themselves, they 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 manipulate and 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 can change that electromagnetic energy in the air as they pass over. So absolutely, yes, Tony, we, I agree with you. We detect that, right? Right. We detect that and we use it, and absolutely. it is not correlated with the gravitational effect. Earth, so the sun rotates, right? The sun spins. Okay, you can I, I, see it. you can see it in the passage of sunspots, right? The sun spins about every twenty-one days, and the sun's magnetic field spins with it. So the sun's magnetic field, as viewed from Earth, changes. You know, goes through one okay. revolution every twenty-one days. But there is no corresponding tidal influence. The tidal influence of the sun does not change on a 21-day cycle. So, 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 so wait, so you, you, you not, just said that there's changes and now that changes day to day. Now you're saying it doesn't change day to day. I'm confused, Tony. Please elaborate. Gravity, gravity doesn't change day to day. What, what, well, uh, well, you keep invoking this uh, um, falsehood of called gravity, but look at. There, okay, it, it, you, you're hijacking that, electromagnetic. No, 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 explain, no, explain that statement. Okay, you're, you're hijacking electromagnetics as it. No, I'm not. You know, his, historically, they did because they totally no, understood. No, I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, this is, you, you, this is you did it. You did again, it again. No, 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 no. Please be quiet. Okay, okay. let's go back go, to go the. Ahead. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay. We can drop an object and we can determine that barring air resistance effects, the um, rate at which um, dropped objects, unsupported okay. objects, fall is independent of their mass. Correct? Okay. We can also demonstrate that it is independent of their electrostatic charge. Well, you can manipulate it with the electromagnetic charge, but go ahead. You can, but you need in a you need it in order to manipulate it with an electrostatic um, uh, mechanism. You would need an absurdly large electrostatic force. Much Not at all. Larger. Oh, no, it's really yes, tiny. It's really tiny. Okay, you, so you your argument, there is a there is a place on Earth that gets that gets struck by um, something like three thousand lightning strikes a day. All okay? right. 
Um, are you claiming that gravity would be um, significantly um, less there or more? I, I would say the magnetic charge there is probably more intense. That's why there's so much electricity happening because it's just it's, yeah, a, it's a really discussing, we're discussing the relationship between electricity and gravity, and I would appreciate it if you could stay on point. Now right, well, you need mm -hmm. you need to demonstrate. We have done multiple um, uh, experiments on the way mountains deflect um, plum bobs, on the um, uh, using um, gravimetric gra gravitational acceleration to detect subsurface water deposit subsurface mineral deposits. We can use gravimetric observations and calculations of satellite orbits. This is part of what I do for a living um, to determine mass changes on Earth. We can detect, for instance, the California drought or the flood events in um, uh, in uh, eastern Australia or the mass loss from the um, from the uh, Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets. We can also detect the mass in mass gain of the oceans corresponding to mass loss from the ice sheets and the glaciers. And all of this is done using Newtonian gravity. So if we can do all this. Where's your evidence that Newtonian gravitational that the Newtonian gravitational model is wrong? Well, uh, going back to it, okay, I, I posted a video for you, um, uh, two minutes past the hour. If you want to check that out real quick, watch that, and then maybe come back and we could we could talk about what, what I'm about what I'm about to talk about. But I want you to watch that first to see how. No, the... I can get the I can get the I can get the main premise. You're saying okay. that there are things of. Um, uh, you can that there are um, you can get electrostatic forces and electromagnetic forces. Can see that, right. and you can and, and, and okay, yeah, and and the, the fact that it can be manipulated, tested, observed, it you, we could science the fuck out of it, right, in a classroom. Now, when you start talking about like gravity and all these other things, you, you're hijacking reality of the electrostatics and electromagnetics. Now you don't like that and that's fair. That's okay. I understand. You you don't you can't accept that. And that's okay because your profession over 30 well, years I don't has... accept it because it's fatuous garbage. You you cannot right, introduce right. that. You you need to you can't just say electromagnetism exists, therefore gravity is electromagnetism. That makes no sense. Show me your evidence. I just posted right. a video that showed you. Um, no, you showed me the okay, 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 okay. You okay. showed me the electromagnetism exists. What's stronger, gravity or electromagnetism or electrostatics? What's stronger? Um, that depends how you phrase okay, the okay. question. Okay, but okay. in general, it is accepted that electrostatic forces are larger. Um, the okay. the constant the constant in the electrostatic in Coulomb's law is much larger than the constant in. Um, Newton's law of gravitation. Okay, okay. So in the beginning, itself, okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. Let me. I, I have yeah, a sorry. follow up. On that, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Which means the fact that the constants aren't the same means that you can't just substitute electrostatic force for gravitation. No, no, no. That's on the contrary. You can't just substitute the the reality that we live in for a falsehood called gravity. So at the beginning of that video, you see two plates. Why isn't gravity pulling that plate from that guy's hand? Why? Okay, there is an upward force being applied to it. No, no, so, so, this is the, so this is the same thing. Why okay. do planes stay in the air? Because there is a, if gravity exists, why do planes stay in the air? They stay in it, the it's air. It's called drag and lift. Upward, they, they stay in the air because there's an upward force that is larger than the influence of gravity on that object. That is exactly the same as what's going on with the plate. The okay. plate is not falling from the man's hand because there is a larger force acting in the opposite direction. Right, this does right. nothing to, to suggest that the gravi that downward gravitational acceleration doesn't exist. You're making the leap towards it doesn't exist. Uh, well. There's no evidence where is your evidence that this is all? You know, I can produce evidence out of the wazoo, and this is the this is why I'm getting frustrated. There are experiments, multiple experiments, published experiments, scientific experiments. There are industrial applications. There are mapping regimes. Mining companies use the shit out of gravitational data. 
submarines use gravitational data to um, navigate around um, okay. seafloor obstructions. Okay. Use gravitational data to map the ocean floor. Do, have you do, ever wondered? Do. Have you ever? No, no, no. I'm going to finish this. Have you Go ever ahead. wondered how we map underwater mountains, given that we can't see them? Yeah, they use sonar. No, they don't. Yeah, off, going, down in San down in San Diego, there was a plane. Matter of fact, this is like, like about a couple years ago. San Diego, there was a plane that was shooting a light like across the the, the um just just at, just in Baja California, and they were shooting a light, and they were using it to map the terrain because they were going to build this huge only thing. to a certain depth. Oh. LIDAR is only oh, look okay. Okay. honestly. Honestly, you can tell me that this isn't right. how it's done, but it is. It actually is. Okay. And I just yeah, told you how they did it. The, oh God, for fuck's sake! You are really trying my patience, mate. Lidar oh, does not work. Lidar does not work to great depth. Okay. Lidar will work on shallow water, but it will not work on water okay. that is that is hundreds of meters deep. Okay. Now let me let me show you something. I want to show you something because you know God. So um, what does the submarine shoot down to know the the, the depth of the the mountain so they don't hit him underwater? Um, well, are they using the, sonar? This, sometimes. Okay. Well then. All Only right. sometimes. <laughs> so the um now. You understand that, well, that, that proves my you, point. I mean, I could rest my no, case, no, no, Your Honor. No, no, it doesn't. You need to hush and let Tony talk so you'll understand what he's trying to tell you. <laughs> you're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Google Earth. <laughs> yeah. Well, known. if submarines can't okay. dive 33 degrees, so... they can stay underwater for two years God, and they can't dive 33 it? degrees down and pop out Just the surface or up. not on a globe but, um so some submarines uh, can't some pop of out the, the ocean floor diagonally. has been mapped using sonar globe. but it, it turns Case out to closed. be a very um uh, a very map, small um, big, percentage flat map. Of it. the vast majority is done using um, gravimetric um observations and we can show you how you can tell the difference here Okay, so let me just share my screen. You can't measure moving straight. Okay, so hopefully you can see here we have a picture of the ocean. We're just going to zoom in. And you can see these lines. Can you see the dark blue lines? No, I think you're sharing the wrong screen, Tony. Why? What am I, how have I not shared this? You're sharing no, Discord. You share. You share a Discord screen. Huh? How is that even possible? Okay. Yeah, um, go back to sharing, your yeah, if you're just sharing your, the whole screen, it's going to be whatever you're on. Try sharing the specific window. The window, yeah. Okay. What Don't about be such a this time? Pony. Yeah, that's it, Tony. Okay. So, can you see the little lines in there? I, I'm watching. Yeah, I'm watching the. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. What made those lines at the bottom? That's pretty cool. That's the sonar, right? That's where the ships have sw ships have swung past, and they've used sonar. Right, okay. and I said that earlier, but okay, that's good. Yes, that's cool. But, but you page. will notice, but you will notice that um, we have data outside of the lines, right? You will notice that we have this data outside the lines. That data on the um, on the ocean floor is derived from gravity. Those are gravity <laughs> enough. Where where does this? Say? Oh man, Tony. Uh, I... <laughs> well, 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 Tony. I at least admit, I at least appreciate that you validated my claim that we use sonar. I, I said we did, and thank to, you for to, that. To, to map some of it, right? The vast majority mm -hmm. of it is not mapped with sonar. There are huge gaps. 
in between the sonar data that we fill in with um, gravity data. Okay, um, okay. so if it, it's just one of those things, Tony, where I, I, I understand your position. Uh, you, 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 you've been doing this for a long time. This is your, your belief. Yes. What do you do for a living? I, I, I am actually an iron worker. Okay. So if I came into your job and told you that you don't know anything about fucking working iron, how would you react? And well, well, we furthermore, that you're a liar who goes out in public and just spews absolute nonsense um, well, that is completely unrealistic. How would you react to it? Well, well, well Tony, your, your profession, I, I'm, I'm sorry to, to, you know, to, to bring you up to game, but your profession is based on a, a lot of lies. And you guys are except, hijacking. Except that wherever we compare it with real life, it works. Whenever we're asked, can you find us some minerals under the ground? We say, sure, yeah, we can do that. Whenever we're asked, can you map the ocean floor for us? We say, yeah, we can do that. And we get accurate results every single I, time. Yeah, right? because you're so, using... So your claim, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. claim that it's unrealistic, it that it's not related to reality, mean. is you making Looking shit up. Right? We demonstrably produce accurate results every single time. Right? Okay, okay. With that being said, Tony, you're you're calling it gravity to find these mineral deposits and all these cool anomalies, but I'm telling you that you guys are just picking up from this electromagnetic world we it's live in where says, everything's electricity. It's everything's it's electricity, it's electricity it's Tony. None of the properties of electricity. Okay, and if, okay. you want to back, if you want to back up your claim that everything is just electricity, absolutely proof. it is. All of physics says that you're wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> All of physics says that you are wrong. You're 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 uh you're probably right because all the world right now says we I'm wrong because they That's say right. it's a ball and it's gravity. So I'm wrong. If I say anything outside of that, I'm not right. I'm not going to uh, um, um, disagree with you on that. I, I, I agree that you're right. The world is going to hate me because I'm saying something that goes against the, the falsehood of the world no, that they're saying we live in. No, oh, go ahead, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, the world. So the reason I get angry is because you're telling me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about for a discipline that I have studied extremely hard no, for. No, 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 studied, no. No, 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 let me finish. Also, I have represented my country multiple times at Mind Sports. I was ducks of my school. I got mm. an honours degree. I went on to get a PhD. I am demonstrably awesome. not stupid by multiple objective standards. But what you're saying to me is that my grasp of reality is so tenuous and my ability to employ logic so bad that None for the of past this has anything years, to do with the argument. So um yes it is. He's he is he is attacking my he is attacking my ability to be rational, to be logical, and to assess evidence. I am producing I am producing backup for the claim that I am intelligent that I have the capacity to um, exercise right. logic accurately, and okay. that I have professional expertise in this field. All and right. what you have not done at any point in any of these arguments is bother to equip yourself <clears throat> with data about what you're talking about before you talk. Right. See, Tony, I would say this. I think you're really, really good and, 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 and you're knowledgeable and you're very well studied in the world as we know our reality and it's electromagnetics, but you are calling it gravity. That's what I'm going to say. You're calling it gravity, but it so is. It, it, yeah, so it's go. exactly the same as gravity. It works according to Newton's law of gravitation. Um, we can detect, we can detect, uh, um, and in, um, and in agreement with, um, Einsteinian, um, general relativity. So it acts exactly like that. But you're just going to label it gravity. You're just going to label it electromagnetics. Well, that's the only difference in our. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, 
Think about it this way. The same way that you feel outraged about how they're just going to disregard, you know, science. That's the way Tony, they feel about all of the science. <laughs> like, <laughs> Tony, you are not an indoctrinated fool. You are an intelligent person who does things very well. It's just, and you explain things very well. Many clearly. people it's love you, your Tony. Audience cannot understand. Your life is valued. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's wrong. Jim's wrong. <laughs> Tony, let me say this, Tony. Let me say this, Tony. If you if you were if Tony, if you were if you were for let's say just let's say tonight you got hit in the head and you woke up tomorrow and you just stopped calling it gravity, you would be such an amazing pro uh, proponent against, you know, uh, 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 people that think they understand how this electric world works because you obviously been doing it for 30 years but you're just calling it the wrong thing and you're angry that i'm telling you that's wrong only no. because it is wrong <laughs> and you, you can't accept that uh, so I'm here's the angry. thing here's the thing apocryphon if you yeah. presented any, any data other than i say so you've done nothing other than everything is electromagnetic because I say so. Tony, you're wrong, because I say so. Tony, gravity is electromagnetism, because I say so. You haven't produced a single scintilla of evidence supporting I, I showed any you, of I these showed you. I showed you the evidence. I no, showed you the evidence. You no, you didn't. You showed me yeah. the electromagnetism and electrostatic okay, 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 exists, Tony. which was something okay, I knew. I didn't okay. claim that electrostatics doesn't exist, right? Okay. I knew that it could exist. Okay, um, Tony. Not, that's not news. Okay, Tony, Tony, you said that the mountain has a pool on the water. In the video I posted, it shows you the guy with the electrically charged little wand can also pull the water. See, that's a visual thing that we can conduct so tr real okay. science. We can have so, an experiment, so, and then so we can... By, go, go the ahead, go ahead. by the same syllogism, humans walk on two legs, okay? Um, gorillas um, walk on two legs. Therefore, humans are gorillas. That's your argument. No, 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 no. It would be so, stupid. Yeah, no, 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 no. Can, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can hold hit, I can hit, a, I can hit a, I can hit a nail with a brick. Hold, I can hold, hit a nail on, with a hammer. Therefore, no, pick the hammers. No, 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 no. Tony, 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 on the contrary, me saying a gorilla can walk on two feet so it is a human would be more the argument. It would be stupid for me to say that, right? So I'm, and then someone says, no, you idiot. That's a human. That's a gorilla, right? But you're saying, no, no, but it walks on two feet. So it has to be a human. That's not no. the argument, Tony. The argument no. is that it's already established that there's electricity, electromag electromagnetism, electrostatics, there's toroids, there's a beautiful uh, harmonious rhythm to all the earth and creation around us. But somebody back in the day said, oh, we're going to call this gravity. None and then we're going to work every, we're going to reverse true. engineer everything we know. We're going to reverse engineer it to make it fit to make it make it be gravity this word called gravity yet here's another thing tony you have gravity can, so strong can, can you can you just show me your data okay show me the right. data that i can I show you i can show you Jim, you knew better than that. How <laughs> they... Because because hey, I can no, you show can you. Ignore it. That's I can show you. I, I want to see your brain first. I can and show you. It is not totally fecal matter. I can show you <laughs> electrostatics. Show me your brain, and I'll show you gravity. Show me I... your brain. Show me your brain. Show me your brain. Show me your brain. Show me your brain, Jim. 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 Hey, Tony, Show me I... your brain, Jim. Show me your brain, Jim. Hey, no, hey, to... you... 
I have a question for. What's happening? Hey, hey, hey. He wants to have any measurements. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come Okay, you Just want mutant. gravity measurements? We can show you gravity measurements. That's fine. Why Here didn't you ask? I was yes, you can show me the there. effect. You can't measure squat. You can show me the effect, but you can't show me the cause of gravity. Now, uh, come on, Tony. You can mute Tony. Hold, hold come on, Tony. Tony. Let's uh, do you, so do, you, you want to get? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to get like uh, twenty second back and forths? Can we do that? No, um, if it's going to be with this fuckwit, no, Jim no, 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 doesn't like... get the no, Jim get yeah, there no, no, you Tony, Tony PhD has a vocabulary too. How many drinks you had tonight, Tony? How many drinks? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've had four. How many, nine, ten? I've had... uh, well, Jim, I, 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 I did smoke yeah. the marijuana too. I'm sorry, I smoked the marijuana oh, tonight too, oh, but man. I did have four oh, drinks. Man. PhD I, I, Tony, pseudoscience Tony. I have a question you have for the Tony. effect of things falling to the ground, but you can't measure it. You, uh, you can't do any spot. Idea. You have the effect um, of I, things I falling to the ground. So, 9.81 yeah. yeah, million yeah, yeah. squared, yeah. but you have no yep. cause that Carry gravity. Uh, you can't I measure like to, gravity. Uh, PhD. Could gravity be hey, pseudoscience? Because I don't know PhD, why. If I were a flat traditional whale. Yeah. Well, if I were a flat earther, I would not be trying to argue against gravity. Um, Stationary uh, could, topographical um, the, the plane. Argument is you that if PhD flat, in then, pseudoscience. Um, as you move towards you the edges. You PhD in pseudoscience. Um, you can't you measure here. gravity. But that would have an effect if you had mass extending out. One meter per second earth. squared. Um, but you have, exactly. you cannot like measure that. it. You and cannot it would be, see it. Then you the are gravitational field would be pulling down. In order for that to happen. You would need the Earth to have arbitrarily, to be arbitrarily you materially are a clown, strong. Tony. But that's you are okay. A drunk, yeah. like that, you, you know, are we a can't drunk prove clown. that the, you know, the, you the are a drunk the, clown, Tony. You know that 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 would simplify the flat Earth argument. If I were a flat Earther, I'd give up denying gravity because you are gravity a drunk does produce real clown, world results. A PhD um, in uh, it does science. allow us to find mineral deposits. It allows us to detect. I think Tony muted me. I think Tony's a coward. It allows, us to, it allows us to map the ocean. It allows us to map the ocean. Are you a coward, Tony? Yeah, he muted you. He muted you. He muted me. Coward. Yeah. Coward. <laughs> yeah. coward. Yeah. Uh, I think he just turned you down. I didn't think he muted you. No, I muted coward. you. He said, "Yeah, coward. I did." Coward, <laughs> coward, You didn't have oh to my say God, that. You're coward. Hey, hey oh so, 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 Tony, just real quick, uh, let me just, let me just say it one more time, Tony. I think you are a very intelligent person. No, I just, not. I just think that he's intelligence not. is misguided oh, and misdirected. He's an educated fool. Well, because I mean, educated fool. That's to all be, he is. to be brutally honest, let me, let me say, the only reason that I feel compelled to try and, um try and educate people like flat earthers sure. is that sure you do there are there are a lot sure of lies do, that we're being told sure there do, are a lot Tony. of there's a lot of misinformation that is being spread around sure there is, but the Tony. shape of the sure earth and the is. nature of gravity are not in that field and i feel like you guys are dedicating you know parts of your lives that you're never going to get back to a fan to something that is not grounded in fan not grounded in reality to 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 basically a fantasy um and you you keep on telling me you know you, you keep on telling me stuff like it's all electromagnetism gravity isn't real um you can use it accurately but you know it's all it, it's all magnetism well it doesn't matter okay if um as long as mass attracts mass that will still result in circular uh, in toroidal planets um you know unless the planet unless your disc happens to have immense material strength um mm -hmm. but you know you're to me you only have a finite life and i would rather that you were spending it doing something that you enjoyed and that was fulfilling and that was useful rather than wasting it on a fantasy what do you think um, about the 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 glow birthers here like me and you that find ourselves in these discord servers 
that you know I, we could be doing something better with our lives what yeah I, I, I feel i feel the same is true of us right you know, so it's feel. like we're like lost causes already so we're just trying to like turn people away like <laughs> don't live your do as i say not as i do don't look at me i'm yeah. ugly you know like <laughs> well my yeah well that that is true like uh, you know i could be doing um, a lot of useful things rather than um, <laughs> Um, but you know, um, I, I I feel I feel the you know in particular when the the conversation was talking to eclipses and it was clear that MC Toon didn't understand the detail of detail of eclipses. Um, there you know it's sort of eclipses occur when the sun is in the nodes of moon's orbit, um, and that happens two times a year, and that lasts for about. 38 days um, and in that time you'll generally get at least one um, solar mm -hmm. eclipse and at least one lunar eclipse maybe two um, and in it's, you'll get two of those eclipse seasons a year um, and sometimes you'll get part of a third um, in, a, in a given calendar year so you can have up to five eclipses in a calendar year but that's the maximum you can have well that's the thing is like I like I'm ignorant to a lot of shit especially all of the moon phases i just don't care you know yeah no, that's what did mc tune say that was wrong i, I wasn't here mc tune says that said that you could have um six when he didn't he didn't mention eclipse season um uh, so he you know he uh he just got a he just got a few things wrong which is fine he there's a lot of stuff that he oh, has to hand particularly about radio transmission whole, that i don't have available <laughs> Hey, Tony, can I tell you something real quick? Yeah, yeah. hold on. Yeah, uh, uh, Jim, no, listen, no. listen to Coal Mine Man, Jim. Come on. Most hold of on. us when have I, Jim muted. When, when I were I worked, I'm, I was a coal miner and I was a hard rock miner. And when I worked in the hard rock mine, it was in a zinc mine. It's right here in Tennessee where I live to get. When we was underground, we punched into a huge body of water. It was an underground aquifer, and it started mm -hmm. filling up the bottom of the mine. And they finally got it plugged off. But yep. we had to continue to mine under this aquifer and around it. And yep. they they brought engineers and guys in who used, they told us that they used the, the I, I assume it's sort of like what you're talking about on the submarines. They used some yep. kind of gravitational stuff to determine where the aquifer was compared to where the rock so, was. Yeah, so there are, there are things called borehole gravimeters um you can google these um they're little uh, gravimeters that they put down a borehole that will tell you the mass distribution down the borehole so if you've got a mass anomaly like a large aquifer you can detect that mass anomaly by putting the gravimeter down the borehole and it'll tell you where the um, where the water body is and so you can um so you can navigate around it that's probably yeah. what they yeah, these things literally probably saved our lives because here we was trying to blast rock around an aquifer. And if we would yeah. cut into it at the wrong point, we could, I mean, you know, you're talking about a mile underground, you could easily drown yeah. and not be able to get out. Yeah. So yeah. I just thought that was a neat thing that the, the experience I've had with stuff it like is, that. It, so. is, it is very neat. I mean, this is, this is one of the things where geophysics... Um, you know the geophysicists and the um, and the gravimetric surveying, um, they actually have really practical applications, which is why the mining companies throw a lot of money at them. Um, and uh, they're, 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 what I'm working on at the moment is satellite-based um, gravimetric observations. So we're trying to use satellites to detect um, uh, t quite small satellites, mini micro satellites, to detect um, underwater. Um, well, underground mineral deposits. So, they must be really sensitive if they're detecting something from that far away. Um, uh, they, yeah, they are. So these are superconducting, sorry, not superconducting, they're cold atom gravimeters. Um, so they supercool a cloud of rubidium atoms and um, uh, throw them into a gravimeter. Um, they form a Bose-Einstein condensate. Um, and after you split it with um, with a couple of laser bar blasts and recombine it, you can um, uh, you can detect the the difference in gravity between the top path and the bottom path. 
um, uh, using the wave interference patterns at the end of the um, at the end of the gravimeter. Wow, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's really cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, you're very. I bet it man. doesn't compare at all to what Jim does for a living, though. Hey, Tony. Can Tony hear me now? Tony, can you hear me now? I think Jim. Most people have you muted since you were um, talking Tony. so much. No, you might still have you muted. Oh, yeah, I, absolutely, I absolutely still have him muted. Yeah, he said he has him. Yeah, I'm going to go back to muting Jim also. I don't, I, don't, Jim. I, don't give, I don't give a rat's ass what you do for a living, Jim. I was just making fun of you. Yeah, Tony, uh, when we worked there, the guys that come underground, it was like, you know, they we had to shut the mines down for uh, like a week when we first punched into the water. And when they brought these guys in, they they talked to us about, you know, what they were doing because they was all over the mines doing different things outside underground. And and what they was doing was trying to figure out where this aquifer was at and our best approach to keep a mining but not run into it. Yeah. And uh, it, it, like, they was all over the place, but they had a bunch of really cool stuff they brought with them. They had it outside on trucks and stuff. And, yep. you know, it was um, a lot of really smart guys, I put it that way, because I talked to a couple of them, and, you know, you could tell that these guys knew their, knew their shit. Yeah, this is the thing, like, mining is, mining is very expensive, and the mining companies um, uh, dedicate a lot of money to, to sort of trying to make sure that they're drilling in the right place so they like to use um, geophysics as much as they can um, like I was saying if you look up the North Dome oil field um, it was discovered using gravitational effects <laughs> good old demon strider is, is all over the you're place you're not going to find um, shit on but, a ball uh, uh, yeah uh, we've been using we've been using uh, gravity to locate mineral deposits to um, extract no for, you're not um, nearly you're using electricity years, you know? if the fucking so ship puts off a frequency um, you yeah, find the, it the if the gold it puts off work, gold it's, it's gold you know, if it puts off aluminum gold. it's aluminum um, that has nothing to do with the ball digging up rocks has nothing to do with a fucking other, ball um, uh, claims flat earth would like to make with Picking up diamonds has fuck all to do with a ball. That's idiotic to say. How can you create diamonds on a fucking steer? How'd that work? Um, By the way, Tony, I think your microphone is a little bit quiet. Don't you gotta have a horizontal to make diamonds? I beg your pardon? Don't you My mic is a little bit quiet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, hey Demok, don't you need don't you need Africa dirt and lightning to create? Gold though. <laughs> don't you need to figure out horizontals don't fit on steers? Reach no, no, hard. don't, don't you, don't you need don't Africa you need to dirt steer is to talk about to steers, gold? dirt boy? Stop being <laughs> no. dirty. You ever heard of the gold? Don't you need to know what a steer is? <laughs> don't you need to know what a steer is to talk about steers? You and Tony. Uh... Yeah. So it's let's just get a, a ruler, um, put it on the cue ball, let's see what a steer and a horizontal to, do. Um, uh, to let's see what they do. No. Let's see what a steer uh, and a horizontal a line do together. Um, you're uh, an ignorant, loudmouth nobody, so why would I debate you? Good job, Tony. Good job, PhD science. You can't even have a civilized discussion here. Good job, Tony. We can. That's a good point. Um, we usually do those in events, though. Like, if you want people to really behave, it's got to be during an event. Otherwise, it's open forum. Everyone well, can talk, and it's really just kind of past the conch. Only that's, that's pseudoscience. And I mean, Tony. you know, I lost my, um, I lost my temper a couple of times um, going on, and I'm sorry for that. But, um, you know, he's just being a complete fuckwit from beginning to end. So. Uh, yeah. You know, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't behave himself in sort of um, in sort of this sort of forum, why is he going to be any different in any other sort of forum? Yeah. Come on, Tony. Modern um, day debate, YouTube. You and me, Tony. Come on, Tony. You can do it, Tony. Hey, you Tony. Um, on, you're Tony. welcome to debate on uh, medicinal mass media as well. Uh, Jim's been offered no. many times to have debates. No, there. I want, I'll hey, moderate hey, them. Hey, uh, he ran. Hey, away. Here's the sad thing, Jim. You ran away from MC Tune earlier. He was here. I did not. We wanted Modern to set day it up. debate, YouTube. You, you liar. 
No, no, on, demon, on, on MMM. You know yeah, it's it's Modern like Modern Day Debate YouTube. <laughs> hey, I want to have thousands of viewers when I destroy McToon. It'll be shared everywhere. It's years. gonna be streamed on oh MC Toons as well. He's got thousands. Oh my god, yeah. Demon, Demon, why don't you suck McToon's dick while you're at it? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, you are just you are a bag of dicks, aren't you? <laughs> that's funny oh, I, I think you're just what. afraid demon, to do it demon, if I didn't if I didn't know better I think you were uh, McToon's toy boy or poi toy or whatever I don't know what well you know look what I told you in private all right. I actually, I should have had you sign the NBA <laughs> before me we private. went live but okay. you're not oh I mean oh my God. now oh I know God. better <laughs> oh my God I tell you what, we got we got FTFE runs away, we got Bob runs away, we got Loon runs away, we got Phil runs away, Bob and now away? we got now we got PhD pseudoscience Tony runs away. When did oh, Bob you guys run are away? Clowns, man. You when guys did Bob are run away? Modern day debate YouTube, they all ran away. Do we have any proof that they just Modern didn't accept day you? Modern debate YouTube, they all ran away. Do we do we know that they I just have, didn't like you? Like, I have James's YouTube. I have James's email. Yeah, it's not so much running away him, if you avoid they all contact with a sack of away. syphilis and Ebola. That's just prudent, right? PhD so in Jim, you'll Tony. like a syphilitic sack of Ebola with smallpox sprinkled on the top. Oh my goodness! Um, Tony. And the fact that people avoid you is. Not them fearing they avoid you me. intellectually. Do they avoid it's me, Tony? Being afraid they might catch something. Do people avoid me, Tony? How do you know they avoid me, Tony? Are you stalking me, Tony? Is Tony a stalker? I mean, debating Jim would be like debating a parrot. Is Tony a stalker? Or am okay. I? I wonder. I wonder how long it's going to take me that I take him to work out that he's still muted on my end. I, again, I just don't give a rat's ass what you have to say. I don't mate. think he believes you because you're really good at like giving him time to talk on his end. I don't think he truly believes it yet. He might not, but yeah, uh, he's. Uh, Good job, Tony. I haven't haven't Good unmuted job, him Tony. for a single second because he's Good job, worth Tony. that Good job. much. Good job, Tony. Good job. Even a choice between a debate with him and pancreatic cancer. I'd be making oncologist appointments. PhD in pseudoscience. You know, that's PhD honestly a thinker. It's honestly a thinker, but I'm here all the time. Maybe, you know, maybe this is me escaping from pancreatic cancer somehow. <laughs> I, I did a debate with the It was okay. okay. PhD in pseudoscience. Hey, no, check it out. Me and Jim had a legit fireside discussion. None of us lost our cool. And uh, yeah, it, it it was it was all right. It's possible. I'm just saying, it's possible to have a hey, conversation. Hey, Matthew and I had two great two-hour debates last year. <laughs> I talked to Blitz. I talked to PhD Blitz right. on TikTok well, since, for 135 uh, minutes. Have any more I had a nice conversation, um, even, <laughs> even though Valen thinks uh, I'm Valen delusional. So guys, good fun? job, guys. Hey, uh, I no, 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 I didn't. I didn't see the episode. Uh, one of my um, one of my uh, guys, uh, one of one of my colleagues actually went across to Exmouth. He's a bit of a uh, an eclipse chaser, so he um, uh, travels the world, sort of going from eclipse to to eclipse, which gets back to MCT MC Tune's point about um, our ability to predict when and where they will occur um, with great accuracy. Which, by the way, is done by working out when the Sun intersects the nodes of the um, of the moon. Um, and yeah, the most used... interesting thing, like, was it was a it was a hybrid eclipse that it was a total eclipse in Austria, but the time yeah. when it got in into Indonesia, the angular size of the moon was just just too small. It was well, the Indonesia was further away from Austria, uh, from yeah. the moon. Yeah. Oh. So it was a, that's a that's an unusual event, but yeah, it was good. How, how do you um, think they? How do you think they? They? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just real quick. How How do you think they? They predicted these these awesome events before all the technology that we have today. I understand that the technology has allowed us to 
get you know better and more more accurate like pinpoint accuracy but how 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 did they do it without such amazing you know instruments that have been built today what what, what would you say about that so the what they did was they um, kept really long records um in um we have uh you know the babylonian the egyptian and the greek um, their early um, astronomical records, and we know that they um, they charted the movements of various uh, celestial um, uh, bodies, uh, and they um, uh, it turns out that moon the the they were lo- they were using a lunar calendar, so they basically worked on months. They worked from new moon to new moon or full moon to full right. moon. Right, the, um, the right way, and, yeah, yeah. and they worked out, they worked out that about every nineteen years, or about every two hundred and twenty-one lunar months, the lunar and the and the solar cycles matched up. They called that the Metonic cycle, and right. so so from nineteen years of observations, you can work that out. Right. If you um uh, and they also worked out that what was happened that the, that there was the same cycle to eclipses but um uh, in particular lunar eclipses were recurring every um every 19 years which uh-huh. was of great interest to them because they were using and solar eclipses were repeating at once about every 57 um years so it was just um record keeping and the fact that for them um month to month calculations were actually much more important than year to year calculations. Right, um, right. So um, so I've actually there's a there's a book out there called Mapping Time, which is all about the different calendar conventions that um, the ancient civilizations used. And it discusses this in sort of extraordinary detail. You're right, sinking so, there. Right. So when the Aztecs and the Mayans they you know they were predicting this stuff and you know these different civilizations that you know they, they like you said they observed they they documented and they kept records so they had a good understanding um the lunar calendar worked perfect for, you know for them somewhere along the line things got changed it, things got you know go ahead go ahead it, so um one of the things that um one of the things that sort of uh, impacts you know that makes us prefer to use the solar calendar is actually the solar calendar is more useful in the sense that it's lined up with the seasons, right? It's lined up with um, uh, summer, um, you know, planting season and um, lambing season and these various other seasons through the year that have, that are much more important when you're farming. Okay, so when you've got a large um, population that depends on the results of farming, you actually start needing a solar calendar rather than a um, rather than a lunar calendar. Um, are you are you saying we need that today? Uh, because back then they didn't need it. They did it very well, very effectively too. But are you saying that in today? See, this is the thing, Tony. I think in today's world that all that we have come to learn and understand and what we're taught since we're children, like this is what they tell us in today's world like this is what is this is the way it is but in yesterday's world like they didn't need that uh and and they, and they they it worked just fine and a matter of fact yeah. i would argue that it was probably a better system because now we have like there's a lot of farmers for instance that they you know um you know back in arkansas uh because I, I, I brought this up to, to to one guy who owns a huge ranch, and I asked him. I said, "Hey, because he has all these, you know, crops that you know that he takes out his big ass tractor, and you know, because he, he's he's a farmer." And I asked him this exact question. I said, "Hey, is it different today the way they used to farm? You know, like way back in the day, you know, like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and 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 were th- was it more effective?" And he said, "Well, actually." You know, we have a lot of digital equipment now. You know, we we have all these you know technology today. But he said, but, I, but 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 he argued. He said, but I would think that they probably had a better understanding of it because they worked off a different off off of, off the moon. I said, so you don't work off the moon then? He said, no, we 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 have a different calendar. And I said, do you think that that affected the way like the crops are grown like? You think uh, he said he said well yes and no he's all because I can still produce a harvest 
but he's saying that the times that they harvest now are are different so like for instance the way the crops grow they he's saying that the, our crops of today our vegetables are of today are different than vegetables of, of way back before yeah. because so because they they're not growing in the same like they're, they're not harvesting them and planting them and, and seeing them the same way they used to back in the day. do you get what i'm saying so, so so this is this is one of the things that is often poorly understood in discussions of these um uh, of these issues is that the crops that we have been growing and using um, as a basis um, for um, agriculture, which is, you know, mass producing food, producing a surplus of food so mm -hmm. that you bricks can sit around and debate the shape of the earth. Um, uh, <laughs> um, that uh, in order to do that, you need you need actually your different crops. So you're adapting your crops. And so crops develop according to economic need so you might you might be left with a choice for instance of how much yield a particular um, genetic version of a plant um, produces um, versus how many times can how how quickly can you get it to yield so yep. maybe if you can get it to yield quicker um, you can plant another you can plant another crop or you can use that land for something else so there are trade-offs that are involved in this and over time, we have specified our um, uh, we have specified our um, uh, we have chosen genetically specific crops, um, right. and um, and and we've made various choices that are different from what people were doing. You know, a couple of hundred years ago, they didn't right. have um, they didn't um, they didn't quite have the techniques the um, uh, that we have. So we're doing a very different thing. And right. we could use a um, we could use a lunar calendar, but the the thing is that it you know it's sort of it's just you know much more convenient to know, for instance, that July the fourth will always be a summer holiday. Um, for instance, okay. that's just you know if we, if we stop doing that and we had lunar months, then you know um, it'd be off. Uh, yeah, it it it'd yeah. drift off. So, yeah. So, so uh, here's what, here's what I was gonna say too. I was gonna throw this out there. Um, because then he started talking more from a biblical standpoint because he was like a you know a Christian a lot of those guys over there are yeah, definitely like, like they're very they're very <laughs> religious and he actually gave it up to the Hebrews he said matter of fact he goes the Hebrews they used to have a 13 month sometimes because and that was that was dependent uh, on uh, when uh, on when the I, crop go ahead go ahead what was can that? I let you know something uh, For... China still have 13 months Sometimes this is, like oh. there's an extra month that is added to the Chinese yeah. lunar calendar. Yeah, so yeah the, but none of that so matters. This is the case. In, this is I'm the sorry, case. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Hold on, Tony. Uh, Demox talking yeah, and you're yeah. talking. Hold on, you guys you. are missing a key point. All right. What was that, Demox? Well, um, maybe unmute Demox. Uh, maybe he's, he's, trying, he's no, trying to get in civilly. Uh, not, I think not, he's, he's. I think he's getting yeah, in a little civil. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you something. Just unmute him real quick. Just unmute him. Maybe. It's very important. It's well, very ahead, wanna... The only way you can measure or pinpoint anything moving is to have a stationary focal point to start from. Okay, if you no, have, hold on, stop talking, useful. stop Sorry. talking. I thought you wanted to be civil. If you have two things that are moving, you have to demonstrate your claim. Uh, Will you stop fucking talking? Are you guys retarded? I think he has you Why are you guys all stupid as fucking? I think he has you muted too. Why? Why the fuck? Hold on, let's give Demax 20 these seconds. These bitches to, don't like physics, do they? To, um, no, to get Demax to got 20 seconds. No, we're getting we're back to you not being able to tell um, where a moon we'll is. We have 13 You can't have, no, fuck all that. You can't do that on a globe. So any, you can't, you can't um, measure any moving Let's give Demax like, like, like 20 seconds at least. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You can't measure a moving object from another moving object. If you think you can, physics would negate. You have to demonstrate it in a lab. So go get two spinning balls, spin them and rotate them the same way you claim Earth and the Moon are doing, and then show us your claim live with two physical objects and just show us where they're going to be and how you can get the cycles and all that. Okay. Um. Yes, that's uh, done. That's already been done.
Yeah, that's simple. I don't know why I even asked that. It's it's like a simple question. Basically, it's so you choose your that's frame simple. of reference. Where, where yes. are the two balls at in a lab spinning around each other where you know where where, where one land is and another land in a flag? Uh, Three-dimensional geometry and you choose your frame of reference. Done. Where is that at in a lab? So there are, um, there are things called orreries, which are machines that do simulations of the motions of the objects in the um, solar system. Um, the more advanced ones also have... Um, the moon around the earth. So just go look at any orrery and it will demonstrate the principles for you. The or the orrery is designed on a horizontal plane, son. Okay. Nice try. The hor Yes, but the um, the orreries are designed around the plane of the ecliptic. However, you will notice that the earth is not a plane in the orrery, is it? It's a round object as is the moon. What, what what planets in the middle of all planets and underneath all planets in you, to you? That is an ill-defined question. It doesn't make any sense. Everything you observe is from Earth up, Goofy. Earth... Up doesn't make any sense in once you're far removed from Earth. It's not a useful reference. No, you need, to de you need to define anything else but vertically up. If you live on a globe, you have to have diagonal to be up. Your horizontal has to be your up, and you have to demonstrate that, not say words. Demonstrate on this globe an object going diagonally okay, away like you, a helium balloon. Um, you I need it again, Dimmer. Um, if, you're not yeah, gonna, like, if you're not going to let me speak, then it's I think it's. Wrong. I think it was a compound question. He was asking you for a directional, like, uh, it was all about angular... Yes, and I was yeah, bullshit. Um, but um, I was balloons going diagonal in, from the surface. There's a there's an internet there's a thing called the International Terrestrial Reference Frame, um, which is which is what we use to define a coordinate system, so that we can define positions Ooh. on Earth and um, the coordinates of uh, uh, satellites and um, objects uh, relative to Earth. So that's that's then what again, we would no use, fear. and it does not have, have up down. It has an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Do you have the globe in your classroom and, and a little moon spinning around? Is going to get excited and so you can let us see what your claim is. It must be flat. But that's absolutely not don't... true. We use Cartesian coordinate systems because they are the most convenient coordinate systems to calculate distance and velocity in. Do you have all right? So I'll reiterate Demok's genius question. Do you have a little globe in your little classroom? That's what? What? Hold on. What? What was the full thing? Does he have a representation of two or three spinning balls doing any claim that he fucking makes in a well, lab? Let me preempt you. Um, uh, Demok's idiotic notion of what is or is not scientific evidence um, have absolutely no bearing whatsoever. Um, and he can claim that unless you can do this, you're not doing real science. He's just wrong. Oh, um, I agree. And, he's, and he's trying to assert, um, he's just trying to um, straw man the entire thing. Mm -hmm. I would like to also ask Dimo if he can demonstrate the sunset on the round table. Think of the light bulb or the round table, and how to what's do, a round how, table got to do with anything? Half of the table dark, but half of the table. Around. Hold on, right. so uh, I have to, it's honestly, I have to mute every single time he ends a question. So, what is a round table in, in China? People, when they go to restaurants, they have a round table that are actually rotated. Uh, so, just get the light bulb or any light. And make make it so there's a sunset on the half of the table. I don't anyway, live on a table. My earth doesn't have any end. What are you talking about? Show me your. Show me what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about sunset on the flat earth. Flat Earth doesn't have an edge. It never ends. It's never ending. It goes on forever. What are you talking about? A table? What's a table got to do with flat Earth? Uh, demonstrate the sunset 
on a flat earth practically with a little globe little light bulb like you want us to demonstrate solar system same same thing uh go take your keychain light your little led keychain light make it a little smaller and just go around the mall and light up everything with it sun boy you can you can light up whole table i know but can you make it fully dark you can't go It'll to the mall light. that is fully not illuminated a pitch dark mall that's all painted black with your little baby keychain light and light it all up sun boy <laughs> I can still take a picture. I can still take my camera. I can take. I can make it long exposure, and I can still make it bright up here. I think what he wants you Wherever to do is, is to it. break into a mall that's that's you know closed because it's, that's when it's going to be all black, and then use a little teeny keychain that you personally have on your keys. I don't know you personally, but you you apparently have this on your keys. Demak knows this about you. This totally isn't projection <laughs> and something of his personal life. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, anyway, whatever dim light, he doesn't realize that I can set up my camera to take picture for six minutes and the light will still appear on, on my picture. What the fuck and are you talking will... about? I just dim What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I heard that. I, I actually don't have him muted. It just like... I can set up my telescope and I can see the dimmest stars in the sky. I can uh, let it track for, take a 10 minute one exposure, one, one picture, you know. And the dimmest things, I can still take a picture of them. He, he doesn't realize that whatever, how far, how dim the light, if it's in the sky, uh, people will take a picture of it. Yeah, so what Lubo is saying is that you know, by having the um, uh, by having a long exposure, he can pick up objects um, regardless of how dim or far away they are. Um, so there has to be something block physically blocking the sunlight in order for um, sunsets to occur. Yeah. The sunlight must be blocked. There must be something um, uh, interjected between the light source and the camera. Otherwise, the camera will detect it. Is that right, Luba? Yes, exactly. Thank you very much for clarifying that. Legit. Makes sense to me. Oh, but I have PhD Tony. You know when they make claim that Earth is tilted 66.6 degrees? Can yeah. you please explain what would happen if Earth will be tilted 66.6 .6 degrees? How extreme yeah. seasons now? Yeah, they're, so they're measuring it the wrong way. They're they're taking it. It's tilt. Um, but yes, if we if we were tilted sixty six point um, six degrees, we would have violently um, uh, extreme seasons. Like it would be absurd. In fact, um, uh, there's a high. That it's thought that actually the moon is vital. To life on Earth because it keeps us from having the extreme variations in um, uh, in orbital inclination. Anyway, um, it, yeah, it <laughs> it's just one of those things. But they measure it the other way. They're measuring from the pole of precession to the um, uh, to the tropic of um, uh, tropic of Cancer. They're measuring from the north pole of rotation to they're saying that that is 66.4 degrees and therefore. Yeah, um, we, we take that that they commit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, uh, does anybody have any other um, meaningful questions? Yeah. How much of a horizontal line can touch a 360 degree sphere? Live in physics class. I see I'm going out. I have to take care of kids. All right. Take care. Well, I, hope you're, I hope you have a good night, Luba. Nice to hear your voice. Yeah, we should zoom in on that. Well, it's actually just after lunchtime. Right? Right. You know, I'm trying to have the same time as you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Th okay. Thanks for stopping by, man. It was uh, it was it's fun having you here. Thanks for your uh, interjections and your, your added science benefits. 
All right. Um, thank you for um, keeping it at least moderately civil, and thanking thank you for letting me um, talk. Yeah. It was good talking to you, Tony. I, I, I've seen you around for quite a bit, but I've never got to speak to you, so it's good speaking to you. Nice being. Nice to meet you too. Take care, everyone. on the line next to a sphere. Zero. How many can even answer the question, how much of a horizontal line can actually touch a sphere? Depends on the rigidity. When they tell you a globe, it, it they tell you a globe is never-ending horizontals. It they tell you they it, zoom in on basketballs and it's horizontal. Nowhere. It, it depends on the rigidity of the surface of the globe. No, it doesn't. No, hold on. What was my sentence? A smooth level fucking sphere, more smooth than a cue ball. Demak, I want you to repeat what my sentence was that you said not -uh to. If not, I'll repeat it for you. A globe is a smooth. No, no, no. So here's the thing. I'm going to unmute you in a second here. What I want you to do is repeat what I said that you said not -uh to. And if you can't do it, just tell me. And I'll repeat the thing that you decided to just hand wave. Got it? I'm going to unmute you, but please tell me what I said. You said no horizontals on a ball. Nope. So that's not what I said. Do you want to try again? And if you don't get it this time, I'll just repeat it for you while you're muted. Okay? I'm going to unmute you. No horizontals on a sphere. No. So what I said was... Um, the amount of the surface area being contacted by a horizontal on a sphere is dependent on the rigidity of the surface of the sphere. Did you catch all that? Cool story, liar. Show us. Show you what? The lion claim you just made, liar. What lie did I just make? You lied about a sphere. I Show us the horizontal on the sphere, liar. The variables of the Show sphere. us the horizontal. Stop lying. Hold on, let me mute you. you. I said it, it's dependent on the variables of the specific sphere you're trying to establish a horizontal across. I, I, got, I guess also the rigidity of the horizontal, too. That made no sense. Show us what you're... Hmm. a basketball and you put a bowl on it draw a circle around the rim of the bowl you're basically drawing a flat line around the ball and if you're small enough if you stand in the middle of that circle and you're tiny enough compared to that ball that circle will look like a flat horizon line that's why we see a horizon You're a retarded liar. Prove it. You dumbass fucking liar. Stop saying basketballs are horizontal. They're not. Go get a fucking ruler. You're a retarded liar, coal mining man. Prove it. Are we sitting here? in 2023 and fucking may asking are you fucking retarded as our fucking flat earth like proofs I, I i'm questioning i just came in right now i love y'all i've been some shit geo knows i've been through some shit from day one with you all geo are you questioning right now what this person is just fucking ass right now i'm gonna put myself on mute but if so i'm leaving the community of flat earth this is fucking a joke y'all have got it twisted this is stupid 100 percent a fucking all of it all of it all of it no no demok has been here demok are you here baby demok are I'm you right here, here honey do you hear me
No, I'm not the problem. Liars are who don't have basketballs and rulers next to them zoomed in live on camera. They can't demonstrate their own fucking claims. Demon Stride is a lying loser who makes a fucking claim who will not demonstrate it. Stop talking about your fucking claim of what this ball and that ball is and the rigidity of that, you fucking storyteller, and get your spheres and show us. Go get a cue ball and show us, you dumb cunt. The earth is more smooth than that. So if you can just use that, bitch, it would help you out. Do you understand? I'm giving you a break, cue ball guy. Demon stride, was that above your comprehension skills? Fucking stupid claim maker. Take a basketball again. And you lay a bowl. No, I ain't got to take nothing, bitch. Show us your video of you zooming in on a simple line around the rim of the bowl. You have a circle, which is basically a straight line compared to the ball. And you stand in the middle of that circle. All you will see is a flat horizon line that the ball turns away from you. That you won't see the ball curve away. You'll stay flat horizon line all the way around in a circle because it's a straight line on a curved surface. It's not hard to understand. Right, and and here's also why I say it depends on the rigidity because if I take a, a ruler and I put it on edge up against like uh, uh, a cue ball, you're right, Demac, it's a hard surface. It's going to be touching the smallest surface. If I put it up against, like, you know, a sponge ball, like, it's going to be touching a lot of surface area. It's not just going to be on one tiny, tiny little pinpoint. If I put it on a basketball, it's even going to have, you know, uh, less than the cue ball. I'm sorry, uh, it's going to have more surface than the cue ball and less than the sponge, but it's going to be dependent on the rigidity of the surface of the sphere that it's placed upon. There's no going around that. It's not a dumb question to ask for that variable. Sorry. What the fuck are you on, crackhead? Well, right now I'm on marijuana and alcohol. What are you on, meth boy? The supposed more smoother than the cue ball you just described, bitch. That's a weird drug. I don't think I've ever heard of the supposed more cue ball... Than, than you have, bitch. Drug. It's called being on the, the, the imaginary earth that's supposedly more smooth than a cue ball. That's cool. So you, you totally didn't qu quite get how I said the putting a rigid horizontal on a sphere depends on the surface tension of the sphere, making the contact kind of like dependent. Kind of like when you like step on like a hill or like a little mound of dirt and it's soft and you press into it, you're not just touching a point at the top, it like squishes and you touch more than just a point. Like you understand that, don't you, Demok? Like you're not, like you, you truly do get at least that, right? Not on your cue ball earth that's more smooth than that cue ball, more. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. Cue also, he then said more smooth than your cue. <gasps> Also, oh, I just want to try to play it because I'm a woman. You and you try to use that like Kosho and all them did too on Jim Panda server, honey. We're not here for that game. We're here for like some like Dimok like chicka 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 real shit. Like who are you talking to right now? Can you now? come with something better? You. What do you want? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want you. No, no, I'm asking what argument you would like. I don't give a fuck what you want. I would like to talk about some real shit. Well, yeah. I'm like like. Some Go bullshit. This like you try to talk claim, some, I, some bullshit. You like did not try to talk about some real shit. Claim? I did not try to write, talk about like 93 million miles around like right the sun ain't earth y'all. Hey, but so you, you keep trying to talk about the bullshit. Right now? That, Holy oh, shit, you, you just sound keep claiming y'all. You, you sound spun as shit right now. I am now. spun. But you spun me. And you try to be back to now regular. But I got to be on your burglar. Because you want to try to make me something that you ain't, oh, I ain't spectacular, but I'm spectacular more than you could ever even imagine her. Let me break yeah, you down. Her more, no, no, let her go, Cole Man and Man. She's fucking spun yeah, exactly. up the fucking crack house right now. Now, we want to try not talk about crack or being drunk or let's all be cool. Let's talk back down to you, fool. 
You're making Flat Earth look great right now, by the way. No, you try to make Demok me and every other person like I don't have to make Demok look like anything. He's a fucking exactly. beacon for every retardedness. Every other person, Mark Sargent, fucking glob, glob, globe. You'd say it all, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your best proof of uh, the, the, what? the Flat Earth? What? What's my best proof of Flat Earth? That I can see too fucking far, honey. <laughs> 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 reflection that you have no oh, understanding of how'd you measure right? it with your eyes mm, your eyes that you measure it with right <laughs> oh fuck mm -hmm. what, what are you like what are you on crystal, hey, Demac, or honey. crystal no i'm not i'm on that real shit called god cause oh, some real damn. shit god don't get you that high Sorry. like i've done actually you're trying to use me as your example because i come in hot and you're trying to play me i know i know honey it's okay Trying to play me because I've been here before for five fucking years, right, Dimok? <laughs> we ain't taking it. We ain't taking the bait, sweetheart. We ain't right, no Dimock. devil. No, you don't have to ask for Dimok's acceptance. No, I, I had to it. unmute him and 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 like mm. get it over to him so he could, he knew. You he had was to unmute here. him because you yeah. unmuted him because you were afraid, afraid of something that would come so out of his afraid. mouth. Yeah, I was like just because it's shivering so in my boots. spectacular, no, no. right? Shivering it's because, in your boots. It's because Kill like me. like you like how you're cracked out right now. Like it would be hard honey, to have a conversation because you're not listening. See, this is what I mean, Demo. See, listen, yeah, honey. Yeah. Hey, We've been here for years. Hey, other crackhead, do you see how you're not We keep listening? coming around, yeah. we keep talking oh, to each other. Oh, we got two Demox in the room, only one the can talk at once. And these motherfucking this is motherfuckers just Demox with a voice keep changer. keep trying to play the same key. <laughs> Holy fuck. Playing game. Don't even step up to our game, honey. We live in a life that isn't even in a same fucking school. Hey, if we had hey, to treat hey, these schools like we went hey, through, honey, they wouldn't even right know what to fucking do, right? You, right? What, what, I actually don't give a fuck about, about your about fucking flyers. life. I've been here for five fucking years, and I've been sitting here with Kosho, and Kosho will tell you about his game and how you don't have none because I'm here. Huh. I think Next. you're. I think you're. I think you're sweaty for Kosho. That's what I. Think. You've actually been here. Oh wait a minute! I don't know who you the fuck you are. Nobody even knows that nobody, even nobody Demok. fucking not even knows me, not even right, so yeah. far. I guarantee that, honey. But we just sit here. Yeah, you're, you're, nobody knows who you are, man. Shit. Because Shane? You're, got, actually, well, well, guess, here, guess what? God bless you, Shane. And anybody else will just put their name out here. God bless you for giving out your name. Because you have to actually just want to come here talking. You don't have to get sit here and show a name. Like this guy's like, show your name, guy. Wave, wave your hair. Look, look oh, at I me. I can hear look you, Cole. She can't hear you, though, because she doesn't care about other no, people. No, I can hear him. I can hear you loud and clear, honey. Why are you talking over him? He He's a nice guy. Because you don't mean him even a sense. Well, he's a nice man. I'm a, I'm a fucking heathen atheist. Okay, I'll be, listen. Yeah. Watch. Watch. And you... Said some things that made me think about things a little bit different. I appreciate that. Good statement. You talking to Stacy here? I'm talking to you. Talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you much. I don't know if you remember what we was talking about, but right before two came on, we was having a conversation about a certain topic. And I had one idea about it and you told me that it was about uh, well anyway what you told me you me made me think about things a little bit different I haven't got a chance to tell you because we started the team show so uh, I just want to tell you now before I get home I'm on my way home but I appreciate it Hey man, well that I, I you know thanks that makes me feel good that somebody took something I said as you know because here's the thing is like I really appreciate the way you attack things. Like, you're a smart dude. Like, um, and, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Can I ask a question? Hold I'm on. Not, we're I'm, each not, other I'm off. not. No, 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 no. We're not. <laughs> you no. Know, these you guys are not jerking each other yeah, off. That's a wrong statement to say in that moment. I got home that, that yes, honey. I did yes. take what you said to think about it, and I appreciate it. So, you don't have to say yeah. nothing, you know. Gotcha. Uh, just you know what? Back. That's how it should be. You don't have to say nothing. It's already. You just want to show your Are respect. Are they still going on? I got them both on mute. But at the same time, 
Don't disrespect, though. People have been here for a minute and care. You may not know who we are. That's okay. But don't talk shit because somebody comes in hot. No, or somebody I, comes I, in with some <clears> feelings. <throat> or somebody comes in with something that's going on that you don't fucking know about. Because no, that's I something you don't that. know. All, that's all you right? gotta say. About... It's respect. It's all, it's all you gotta say. It's respect. I, hey, hey. It's also a safe space. But I will say I real judge. quick. Yeah. Real quick. No offense. You may judge this, though. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Transparency is real. <laughs> with me, at least. <laughs> Hands up. If you talk shit about Denmark, there's a lot of people that do. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. But that is my man. Like, Denmark's my dude. Yo, Denmark. From like six years ago. If you talk shit about him, I will come like a little, a little sharp. Just saying. That's my dude, Denmark. He's like know, been here for don't, six you don't fucking spend, years fucking this been... shit out. I'm here eight hours a day, like fuck. I fucking know, honey. 10, you don't 10, know who 10, I am. Ten, twelve do you? hours a day, fucking. De I'm here with Demok all the time. Mm -hmm. Demok calls me a retarded, Demok. dumbass little cunt bitch Demok. all the time, and it's fucking. Can you wake up just tell old. him who the fuck I am? <laughs> I'm never here too now. I'm. The, can you tell him I came like two years and like later? They, 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 she came in two years later, dude. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> Honey, I don't know. I don't care what's going on in your beefs online. I could care less no, no, about it's Wizzit. Not a beef. I it's could just care I'm less here about every his... day and I'm like, just Demok. Know, honey. No, no, Demok yeah. has to be muted after he asks his question. Otherwise, he'll keep talking. Hey, you know what? That's just bananas. like Demok is like my favorite dude of all. Yeah, maybe pick uh, another dude. I'm be... no, listen. no, listen. No, listen. <laughs> He's my favorite dude of all. However, now that's when you go, question mark, ding, ding. I have a spot in. <laughs> well, you should as that non flat earther. That, um, however, she's like, she's cool. She knows that Denmark says this crazy ass shit. And so does she wish she's like hit her like rhythm. But I don't come here and hit my rhythm very often when I've had a moment in my life where I've had enough. It's family, it's oriented. If you know that about me, you'll know that about me. If I'm here with a problem, or you even hear me like this right now, you're lucky. <laughs> like, you're lucky. She don't get that. Honey, honey. No. My problem is for real family, so no. Yeah. No, honey. It's family. I'm just gonna say it's family, you know? Yeah. yeah <laughs> you feel it me? Sucks, yeah. yeah. It I've lost everyone, is. including my brother, my dad, and mom. So this is family. In a moment, okay? So I'm here, <laughs> but in a moment, you don't know who I am. We're cool, though. I can tell you're cool. It's okay. But Demog, you, you a bitch! Come in here right now. I'm asking you to come in here uh, five years ago, Demog. <laughs> Nate, we laugh. Where are my boys? Like, where are you at when fun is needed? Where actually when... You know what, guys? Between, like, the whole flat earth and, like, the, um... Can I get real, y'all, real quick? I'm so sorry. Between the whole flat Earth and like real flirt, like real Earth or whatever, or what you don't believe, I don't give a fuck, actually. Real Earth, flat Earth, fucking spherical Earth. What's up, Stacy? There you go. I miss y'all. You just come in, did you? Yep. I just miss some real, real shit. That's it. Like, I don't even care about the debate. Be drunk. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. <laughs> like, subscribe.